We're taking a look into the past while staying in the present for the 2023 Pony Express re-ride. ABC4's Annika Johns joins us live in Eagle Mountain where she met up with organizers and riders of the re-ride and asked them what it's like to bring a piece of history back to life. Annika. In 1860, the country, young men rode across the country delivering mail. Now, today, our methods of transporting mail have changed significantly, but one organization is taking to the trails and recreating what took place so many years ago before mass communication even existed. Put on by the National Pony Express Association, this annual re-ride spans a 10-day period covering almost 2,000 miles. The trail begins in Sacramento, California and will end in St. Joseph, Missouri. The riders not only ride along the original trail, they carry around about 1,000 letters and a traditional mochila. Riders will ride all day long, 24 hours a day, until they reach their final destination. This year we're going west to east and there's about seven or eight states involved here in Utah. We have three teams, each made up of, you know, two dozen folks or so, and we carry the mail across the state for about 300 miles. Just a few minutes ago, one of those hundreds of riders just rode through here through Eagle Mountain, and they are continuing your, their path despite all of the weather. When I spoke to some of them, they also told me that this isn't only American history. This is history for their family. Multiple generations participate in this event, and they just keep coming back and doing it and riding off into the distance into history. Reporting live from Eagle Mountain, Annika Johns, ABC4 News.